It's Skyway at noon, and I'm so glad you're joining us today. I'm Pastor Greg Brown. I have my guest, Dr. Gary Piles. Welcome to our program today, Dr. Gary. Thank you very much. We have some fun stuff to talk about in just a moment, but let me visit with our family, and I'll just join you right now and share with you that it is the Christmas season, and I know a lot of people, especially 2020, is like, we just want to get 2020 over and and just kind of like flush it and get behind us. But no matter what's going on, I know this year may be a little more difficult than for a lot more people, but a lot of times the holidays just get stuff happening that's not always pleasant, not always fun to go through. And so we're calling today's program Surviving the Holidays. And so if that means, uh, you know, interacting with your, your family and everybody else or expectations, I brought on the program today Dr. Gary Piles. He, he leads our Christian lay counselor ministry here at Skyway. They're always here to help you and stuff like that. And uh, I'm just going to turn to you, Gary, and say, hey, Gary, it's the holidays, and sometimes everybody's not happy. And there's things that go on that get people depressed. And you, talk to us about some of the stuff that you, you, when you're working with somebody and you're like, hey, this is going on with me, and, and you've been able to share some things with them to help them get on the other side of it. What are some examples of that kind of stuff? Well, I want to tag along with what you said a little bit earlier, and that is the fact that you talked about expectations. There you go. We come into this holiday time and season with a lot of expectations. Some are real and some are not real. In fact, some of these expectations we place upon ourselves that really shouldn't be there. And so what I'd like to go back to is discuss who we are. How did God create us? And in Genesis 126, he said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. And so he did. And along with that, what does that really mean? Well, it means that we have part of his characteristics and likeness within us, which is respect, honor, glory, dignity. He's put that within each and every one of you. That's who you are. Now, the world has come along, during, especially during this time of the season, and says, nah, nah, you're this or you're that. And so what we find is we've covered up those things that God has said that we are within us. What have you done for me lately is one of the responses that I get from people. You know, you hear that in the world out there, no matter if it's your job or you're involved in sports or you're involved in something at home. We always put these expectations on other people and we put expectations of on ourselves. And a lot of times these expectations are not valid. They're not real considering how God made us. So it boils down to, are we living according to God's principles as to who we are? We have that respect, that dignity, that honor within us. Or are we living for somebody else's expectations of what they've put on us? If you do it this way, I'll like you. If you don't do it this way, I won't like you. Uh, my plan is better than your plan, or I have these expectations. And a lot of times when we don't understand how God really made us, we start becoming more like this person that's putting these expectations on us, and our life is now hid about who we really are. It could be a co-worker. It could be a family member. It could be our peer groups, our friends. It could be our spouses. Have expectations for us that are not in alignment with God how God originally made us, as in Genesis 1.26. So we have these attributes within us. They get buried, they get suffocated, and then when that happens, we're not living within our design that God designed for us, those parameters in which God designed us, and we become depressed because we're like a fish out of water now. We have a hard time living in our everyday activities because we don't realize who we are now. And so the depression sets in, anxiety can set in, stress can set in, all these other issues, negative issues that the world, the flesh can put upon us. We are now living and we wonder why. Why am I depressed? Well, the fact of the case is we're living outside of our design. So we need to get back into what our design is and how God made us. And a lot of that anxiety, that stress, will disappear when we're living within his parameters. And that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, 
And that's what I find with a lot of people in counseling is they're living outside of the design factors that God has for us. Gary, this is really good stuff and because, you know, people come in like, I'm so depressed down at the office, blah, 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 and people have done this. and Or family get together, and you have the, the one family member you never see all year, and their life is so good, and everybody just loves them, and they have all the money, and they have all the air, and it just makes you feel worse about yourself. But you're saying that when they come and put all that stuff out there, it's literally just putting worldly expectations on us and rather than us right. being able to see, who did God make me to be? And who am I? And you know what? I have value, and I have respect, and I have dignity, and I have something to feel good about myself and being able to see those things as we're created in the image of God. This is great. Yes, that's, that's what God intends for all of us. Every creature, creature, every human being that he's ever created, this is what he's instilled within them. And this is what we are to be, to have that dignity and that respect. I know in my own growing up days that that was pushed aside and I had to match somebody else's expectations. And boy, did I struggle with that. And especially around Christmas time, I had expectations. Around Thanksgiving, I had expectations of, for myself, but it was all based on not what God said I was, but it was all based on what those people out there or family members or my peer groups said I was, which is not true. It's an absolute lie. Once I realized that and started looking at it from God's perspective and God's viewpoint, then I found out I did have dignity. I did have worth. I had all these things in my life and I could hold my head up and walk through the world knowing who I was regardless of the season of the year and what other people thought of me. Amen. That's such good advice. You know, I just want to share with everybody who's watching Dr. Gary today, watching our program today, you might be going through something that somebody says, well, I want you to do this. And why didn't you do that better? I was hoping you'd be like this. And lots of times it's just people putting what their own unfulfilled expectations on somebody else, just basically saying, Hey, I'm blaming you for my unhappiness and I'm projecting my own unhappiness on you. And, you know, it's unfortunate, but you can't own it. And, and you know, it doesn't mean you have to be ugly back to them or, or defensive back to them and, and in, a, in a humble way and in a, in a, what I'd say, a respectful way. You know, you can, you know, navigate that, mo that moment, but don't take it home with you and nurse it, rehearse it, relive it. And just realize they're just not happy because they're not happy and there's some stuff going on inside of their own life and they thought maybe their interaction with you would just you know make the day better and somehow you didn't bring that thing that really and uh, an expectation that was unrealistic to you but you don't have to own those unrealistic expectations you can just be who god wants you to be this is what dr gary's saying just be who god wants you to be you know and when you are who God wants you to be, you will deliver what that person needs through you. Now, if they want to receive it or not, it's up to them. And uh, some people, man, they're like, wow, I'm so glad I encountered you today because, you know, I needed that encouragement. I needed that smile. Whatever it was that, that God created you to be and who God created you to be, you're able to deliver that, and it really does make their day better. You know, for me personally, the best thing... I start my day, I go down to the gym, uh, my local gym, I like to be there. And there's probably 10 or more people that I know by on a first name basis. And we, you know, we don't spend all day talking to each other because we're all there to lift, we're all there to exercise, but we all at least acknowledge each other by name, give a fist bump, encourage one another. And I was just out last week uh, in Mexico ministering. And uh, so I wasn't at the gym for a week. All those people came to me and said, hey, man, it's good to have you back. I missed you, this, that, and the other. Again, I don't know what it is that they're needing, but when I'm at the gym, I'm just me. And I let who God created me to be, be expressed in a kind way, uh, hopefully a somewhat energetic way. Uh, but it's really not like I spend all day counseling them or preaching to them or reading the Bible to them. I'm just me. And uh, you know what was so cool? When I came back, they, they all came up to me. Hey, I missed you. I'm glad you're back. Just be who God created you to be. And you know what? That's going to be more than enough. That's, that's the best advice we can give you. Dr. Gary, anything you want to close with before we go into prayer? Just to follow up what you just said. Be who God called you and made you to be. You can't go wrong with that. Amen. Amen.
Amen. So with that in mind, would you say a prayer for our, our audience today, anybody going through something that could help lift that stuff off them Amen. and release them into their true identity? Let's pray together, everybody. Father, we come before you right now in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. And during this time of the season, when all the expectations are out there, Father, may we humbly bow before you, recognizing you as our creator and Jesus as our Lord and our Savior, that Jesus died for us on the cross that we might have salvation, and he rose again that we might have newness of life. And Father, for those that have anxiety and stress and worry and concern about some things in their lives during this time, Father, may they do what the Scripture says, casting all our cares upon you because you care for us, and you have designed us to be enveloped by your unconditional love at this time. And so, Father, we bring it before you right now, these people that have these issues. Father, you will be their comforter. You will be their guide. You will be drawing alongside of them, showing them the way of who they are in you, that they have value, they have worth, they have dignity and respect. And, Father, we know that you are the God of all comfort and that you are going to work untirelessly in their lives, Father. And so we come before you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 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 That is a prayer that will set us free. And I want you to be free and enjoy the holidays. I know a lot of people, man, you put up your Christmas trees in October. You're all crazy out there, but you're just doing something to have fun, kind of break it off. That's you being you. Go out and be yourself, and you will see every day will be a great day for God to work through you. Love you. Thank you for joining us today at Skyway. Dr. Gary, thank you for being on the program today. My pleasure. Enjoy Amen. It. God bless. 